bummer! <laughs> wow, hello, pottery friends. Uh, here's our turtle. I've been away from the studio for a couple of days. Wasn't feeling well. Uh, I sometimes have dizzy spells. But I'm almost there. Uh, what I could do, of course, was think about our cute little turtle. And I was, well, I had decided to go for slips. I have way more colors in slips and way more uh, ideas for that than um, maybe carving and, and glazing it. Uh, I don't have enough glazes for that, so I decided to do that. And then I was thinking, what? You know, scraffito, stenciling, transferring, uh, pa painting, well, painting, no, I, I don't want to paint items. I want, I, I'm not going to make this realistic. It's going to have big, oversized, funky things on it. It's going to have a little tiny little uh, messages in it for good luck and things like that uh, I'm still thinking about uh, how and what I did go through uh, well, a whole bunch of colors I have them all here <laughs> you know putting them together see if they fit see if I like it and thinking about will that work for all the other items that are going to be part of this totem I <coughs> excuse me know that on the bottom of my turtle there won't be any uh, specific decorations but I do want color so I will be starting with that I'm going to flip him over there you go boy there we are carving still in there <laughs> so I'm going to do his, his uh, bottom um, his belly first and that will be um, then I'll let it stiffen up a bit because it will wet the clay again and while I'm doing that hopefully there will be more or not, not more please no I have so many ideas but more definite ideas for the, the shell so let's get to it shall we ideas for the top side and I thought try them on the bottom and it helps slow the drying down a little bit so I put it all on the connections and all over uh, wait till this has dried then I'll do the Mishima hair just in the carvings and if it works the way I hope it does it's going to be part of the top side but now as always, it's time to wait.
there is the bottom, it's belly. Um, let me show you a close up. It's difficult to see, I think. It's greens, uh, one green, a brown, and an orange. And I thought, why not multicolored Mishima? Of course, we can't see what it will look like eventually. It looks funny now because it has this layer of wax on top. Um, I was just trying out to see if I could get more than one color in those carved lines and I can so now I'm going to spray him put him away in the jimmy and I'm going to cut stencils for the top part so um, I'll it'll take me a while so I'll see you in the next clip Welcome to a not so lazy Sunday morning. Uh, I had planned to spend my uh, day in my PJs at my computer. Just, you know, um, I have a YouTube, um, what's, the, what's the word? Addiction. <laughs> so I was, you know, having a lazy Sunday. Blah, blah, blah. But it was too hot inside. And there is a little breeze today outside, so I thought I'm going outside. And then, of course, our little friend here called me. I have been um, uh, doing some, well, for me, some testing and some revisiting some techniques. I have videoed that. And either you have already seen it <laughs> or not. <laughs> At this moment, it's all on my computer and needs to be edited. Needs a voiceover. Um, but because of that, I have decided that I'm going to work with masks and then a little Mishima on the top of the turtle. Uh, let me get you up to speed so far. Uh, 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 no. I have a towel on top of the plastic because of that little breeze. Uh, I took it a little bit further and did the same sponging and some carving on the flippers and its face. How am I going to do this? I will take it all with me and those might blow away in the wind. Let me see, I have to look there so I can show you. Look at its cute little face. Hey guy, I did the same colors, sponged them on and then I carved the details. I think I'm going to leave them white I'm not sure yet there is wax on top so I can still if I want to put a color in there and I will decide later look at him he's cute isn't he? yeah he is come on you little guy so now <laughs> I'm going to do the top and I have made just a rough shape, newspaper, rough shape, there it is, of its shell. And uh, I did some sketching, first on this side, didn't like that, then on this side, and so on and so forth. And now I'm going to make the masks. And I do it like this, so I can see the scale and, and the placements and things like that. So I'm now going to make the masks like of this cacti, this banana leaf, the flamingos, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'm first going to give him a coat of the two lightest colors that I have put here, because that dark green is going to come back in the cacti and the leaves. future me I was listening to an audiobook while cutting out all these stencils and masks so uh, let me try and explain what you see I um, 
cut out the shapes from my sketch and then I take a folded newspaper and tape down the sides. I will then take every sketch that I did uh, and um, transfer it onto that stack of newspaper. I trace it uh, and or sketch a new one that depends and then I will uh, cut it, cut around it with a little extra room tape those sides together as well. This way I have a stack of, a, I think it was at least eight uh, pieces of newspaper. And I will take a new fresh blade of my exacto knife. I'm sorry, my head is in the way. <laughs> uh, cut it out and that way I have eight stencils and masks all at one. <laughs> I just spent a little over an hour Cutting out all these masks. It's freaking hot. Oh, the breeze is picking up a bit. Oh, it's so nice. Uh, I deserve a beer on my Sunday afternoon. Cheers. Mm. Let me show you. Back full of masks, and I kept the stencils. I will take some out to show you. These are on top, they're the last ones, so they're easy to grab. Hold on, hold on, I'm here. This is a stencil where you put your color, whether you're painting or doing something with ceramics, through. This is the cutout, that's the mask. I know it's semantics, it's not really that important, but I hear people using masks call it a stencil and it can be confusing sometimes. Um, I will show you while working what I mean, but um, because of the way I do this, I have eight of each and I will first use the masks only and maybe later the stencils. Not sure yet. But the first part of the plan is in place. Let me put them back because of that little breeze. It'll fly <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I'll be running, running after pieces of paper through my garden. Would be fun though. So, um, turtle's here, covered up. I will put it in place and I will be starting with some uh, colored slips and then the first layer of masks and um, when you work with masks you build up it, well at least if you use several layers which I intend to do and I always you know get a little bit of a knot in my brain because you have to think backwards the foreground meaning those items that will show up being in the foreground have to go down first so you're thinking from foreground to background, but you're putting it down the other way around. It's a little bit like um, a painting with watercolor, that you have to think of um, the lightest parts and not paint them. And then, you know, build your painting up. Uh, so I have to concentrate and look at my notes and make sure that I don't do it wrong. <laughs> I get it right. In the other video that you may or may not have seen yet I actually did it wrong so um, I'm hoping not to make the same mistake again even though I knew it and I've done this before but you know it's a bit it's a bit weird but I like it I like the I like the building up and I, and I wanted to do something different than Scofito this time so that's why I chose for this here's future me again okay um, first layer of sort of kind of basic color slips put down with a sponge and now I'm going to put on color to mask out again it's it's not complicated but it, it well I, I have to really think what I'm doing so here I am putting down the color of that cactus you see stuck under my phone I took a picture of that sketch that I made from the whole shell so just for me to remember um, where to put what 
because I will forget. Just like why I take pictures of my practice stacks when I'm uh, trying to fill a glaze kiln, as you see me do in, in, in a previous video. So now I'm thinking about what color, and that's going to be a light green. And um, I did one, maybe two layers, and then uh, I wet the mask, the piece of newspaper, and then put it down there. Try to keep it a little bit wrinkle free. It's not the most important thing in my opinion. I don't mind wrinkles. Um, a little bit of water, a little bit of extra slip where I didn't put enough and tap it down and it will stick. Then the second one is going to be on top or overlaying it partially to create a foreground and a background. And in the end, because of when I take off the masks, the cactus will take off all the slip that has gone on top that will be in front of this one. Oh, I do hope this makes sense really. I think it will make more sense once you see me taking off all those masks. This uh, will represent a, uh, a diver's rock. We have those here on Bonaire uh, to uh, show people where are there are good spots to go offshore diving. Um, they are always yellow with black text. So I put down this time two or three coats because the yellow is a little transparent. A slip and then the tape of the tape. No, the mask will go on top and a little bit of uh, water will stick the paper down. Sometimes uh, a newspaper where, where there is a colored ad, it takes a little bit more water. Uh, stick it down there and then, you know, maybe a little slip over it or a little water over it and it will stay down there. And the magic happens when you take all the masks off later. I will be continuing to do so, keeping in mind what has to go down first because that will be in the foreground and what will go down over top for it to be in the background. So I will leave you to uh, watch me put down lots of pieces of paper and lots of layers of slip. And I'll come back to you for the big review.
you ready for the big reveal? Roll, please. Okay. This is. Let, let me adjust the camera. Are we good? I think so. Hey. He's my friend. Okay. My bucket is here, so I can. So I don't have to chase a paper newspaper with slip on it. So let's go for it. That's one. Ooh. It tears, which we don't want. And I know, or at least I remember, that I have put a cactus on top, which will be in the background in a second. Oops. That also tears. is number six see how this one is now going over that one it's number six and there's a tiny one somewhere I think it's here but can't find it six right Here's another one. That's the banana leaf. Uh oh, it's going over the. Oh well, so be it. See, I did that the wrong way around. Now I I know there should be a seven. There's another. I did this the right way around. I thought I had it next to the banana leaf, but I, I guess I didn't. I'm going to have to fix that. Eight. This is what I cut out. This this is the stencil, the the reverse of the mask. So I can cut one out, and then um, paint some of that slip in there. Doing that now. Oh, I'm sorry. You can't see. I'm I'm cutting off the tape. So I have all these eight pieces separate. We don't have a lot of room left. <laughs> there we go. Let me grab one. Oh, bummer! <laughs> but hey, let me grab the, the right slip. I have to take some out. I will put it in the lid. I'm doing that now. See? Never throw away your negative. Oh! Oh no, that's good. Never throw away your negatives, right? Why is this there? Oh, that's the leaf. Okay, I got it. Yep. Spray this a little bit with water. It's a funky shape, so it's a little bit hard to get it in the right spot, but I'll get it right. There we go. Oh, 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 look, 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 look. Yes. 
I'm dipping my finger in my water bucket. Here we go. Now I can fix this. I'm very happy and I'm very very much enjoying this and I'm going to have to stop fiddling and put him away for the night and come back tomorrow because it's it's so many layers of slip I have to take some off here so many layers of slip that will make everything a little bit soft again so you have to be careful and these were, of course, waxed and then uh, carved. So whatever I have spilled on there, like here, I can take off easily. Oh, and like here. Yeah. Oh, good. You're going back into your dry chamber, honey bunny. And we'll see you again in the next stage. Bye for now.